Wow. What is going on in Pakistan? You know, that country is like my second home. And so all the outpouring of grief and chaos that's tumbling out, um, it, it really has me in turmoil. Imran Khan is certainly emerging as the most important and popular living leader for Pakistanis. Now, I know some of you won't like that. Well, deal with it. Loved or loathed, you can't ignore Imran Khan. But the suffering that the ordinary Pakistan people are going through is in many ways much bigger than this wonderful politician who has so much love in his heart for Pakistan. Not like the other corrupt leaders, the ones who are living in the UK. We know who you are. I mean, you know, we can see you. And you have no love for your country. You have no love for your people. You just have love for this. So please save me or spare me your platitudes. And uh, I've been following my friend Moeed Pazada, uh, who's a fine journalist. And, you know, I've always been a big fan of the Pakistan media because the majority of journalists that I've met have been free to speak their mind, free to write whatever they want, but not today. Not today. Thanks to the repressive regime, you are now finding yourself in. The fact that nobody dares mention Imran Khan. Oh, for goodness sake, to the generals out there, and we know who you are, you know, you're not the army. You're about a dozen men, the dirty dozen, let's call you. You don't represent the army. You don't represent the ordinary soldiers who are proud to put on that uniform that, that you've brought so much shame on. But anyway, uh, as a <laughs> rollback, as I was saying about Moeed Pazada, um, he's written some really good stuff. And he's saying that countless millions are struggling to achieve a better Pakistan, a more equal and a just Pakistan, a genuinely democratic Pakistan, governed by people through the rule of law. What is so outrageous about that? Think about it. Who benefits from free speech? Who benefits from... Um, Honesty, integrity, and transparency. Not the dirty dozen, no way. Not corrupt politicians. Ordinary Pakistani people will thrive in a just and more equal Pakistan. Establishment figures and fake liberals and fake feminists um, and Yes, ladies, I'm going to bring in the feminists there. What the hell happened to the sisterhood? I saw men in uniform, police, military, slapping around our sisters. How could you let that happen? How can you look the other way when women are being abused like that? That isn't feminism. You're not progressive. You're just promoting the patriarchy. You're encouraging this vile, misogynistic behavior. So to the so-called feminists who've been looking the other way in your upscale homes in Karachi and, and Islamabad, get back in the box because really um, you're not feminists at all. You don't believe in women's rights. Yes, I am having a rant. But, you know, that's what midweek crisis is, uh, is about. So, Moeed, more power to your pen and to other journalists out there. Um, be brave, be exceptional, be wonderful. 
and continue serving your country. It's a great country. Get it out of the hands of these fools and, and uh, let Pakistan thrive. That should be the enduring call on the streets. And give Imran a chance. Give him a voice. Give him a microphone. Get him back on your TVs, your radios, back in your newspapers and your magazines. It's time that we all started standing up for Imran in the same way that he stands up for you. So that's the end of my midweek crisis rant. Uh, love it or leave it. I will be down in Westminster this weekend in the UK and hopefully uh, the PTI organisers will give me a platform and a microphone and I'll say it all over again. So until next time, salam alaikum. <laughs>